Granny's back, and I thought we would read Corduroy. My kids love it when they were little, and my grandkids, so I thought we'd read it today. Corduroy, Stories and Pictures by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Well, I think I would have wanted a bear like that. What do you think? He looks very cute. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, that's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He lost the button of one of his shoulder straps. Oh, my. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. Oh, he does look sad, don't he? Poor Corduroy. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go see if I can find it. Later that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut down and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. My, my, where did it go, people? He lost his button. But Corduroy's going up the escalator, ain't he? Suddenly, he felt the floor moving underneath him. Quite by accident, he stepped onto an escalator, and he went up. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I've always wanted to climb a mountain, he said. He stepped off the escalator as he reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Wow, look at all that. Tables, chairs, lamps, sofas, and rows and rows of beds. This is a palace, said Corduroy. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto the large, thick mattress. Look at him. Maybe he's sleepy. All at once, he saw something round and small. Why, well, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down. Oh, my. Corduroy's in trouble. He yanked and pulled with both paws until Pop off him the button and the mattress. Corduroy toppled. Poor Corduroy. Bang! Into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. I hope he don't get in trouble. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night Mike Watchman was going around on the floors above when he heard the crash. He come dashing down the escalator. Oh my. What's going on? Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. I made a mess. Somebody must be hiding in here. Uh oh. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Uh-oh. Hello there, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy in under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animal dolls, right where he came from, huh? Corduroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store. 
in the morning, and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen the day before. She's smiling at him. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Oh, boy. Shall I put him in the box, the silly lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, said Lisa, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. Look at her. She's so happy, and so is Corduroy. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into a family's apartment and straight into her room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just right for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous place in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Oh. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened, she said. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me suit too, said Lisa, and she gave him a big hug. Oh, I love this book so much. And there's more corduroy books too. Maybe we'll read them someday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.